Lord, briefly throw your weight around in this brief ministration. I connect myself to the sound of the waves. I connect myself to the wing of the wind. I connect myself to the teaching ministry, to the apostolic, to the prophetic, to the pastoral, and to the evangelical offices of the Holy Ghost. As this sound goes forth, let somebody receive resuscitation in the name of Jesus. Briefly give me your understanding as I speak on the brief message titled, Give me the voice of mercy. Raise me the voice of mercy. Let me tell you, the only thing that can override justice, the only thing that can quash away judgment is a word called mercy. Mercy is a system in the kingdom. When you introduce mercy to a destructive formula, it turns to a protecting formula. When you find judgment, we are men have been assigned for destruction. Don't labor, introduce mercy. Mercy is a better system in the kingdom. And for God to bring mercy to your direction, he must raise a man. Because mercy must come through a voice. I call it the voice of mercy. The voice of mercy is the voice that speaks in your absence. Hey, mercy is the personality that represents you even in your absence. When you have a voice of mercy speaking for you, it will be very hard and difficult for matters to be decided behind you where the voice of mercy represents you. People today are being destroyed. People today lose opportunity and chances because they lack the voice of mercy. A voice of mercy will always represent you, even in your ignorance. A voice of mercy will plead your matter, even in your absence. When people lack the voice of mercy, they can be destroyed when they are not around. A voice is that person that has the capacity to defend you, even in your error, and override your judgment and save you. Many people today, they lack the voice of mercy. I want the Lord to raise unto me the voice of mercy. When Joseph was about to be destroyed, they want to exterminate him. They want to destroy Joseph. But God rose unto him the voice of mercy. The voice said, no, let us not kill him. This is our blood. But let us put him in this dry well. And they did. And through that, Joseph was preserved. That is the voice of mercy. If you don't have the voice of mercy, men can collide together and destroy you behind you. But when the Lord has prepared the voice of mercy for you, as they are planning to destroy you, the voice said, no, don't do this, don't do that. God raised a man in the time of David, as Ahithophel gave his own counsel, and said, pursue David now, you will kill him. And if they had pursued David that time, they would have killed him but the voice of mercy said no don't follow his counsel if you pursue him you will lose him at this time and they forbid to pursue him because the voice of mercy represented him behind him lord raise me the voice of mercy in my time in my absence in my ministry in the church in my education in every prostatal and level where i find myself let the voice of mercy speak for me raise me that voice behind raise me that voice before me raise me that voice at my left hand side raise me that voice that will represent me when i am not present the voice that will speak on my behalf in the spiritual Jesus is the voice of mercy speaking for me. He said that's a voice that speaks things that are better than the voice of condemnation. That is the my name is Prona Onyeka. Oh Onyeka. Is it the name or is it the fame? I'm nothing without you.